Oh. Now entering the rumor mill. We got some names linked to some clubs. We start with Chelsea, who just... I mean, they're involved in every transfer anywhere. It seems like fuck all. they get a bit of everything, no yep. matter what happens. They're no like, matter how big. They're like mobsters. <laughs> they get a little piece of everything, depending on where it happens. So. Enzo Fernandez. Looks like they're going to pay the release clause, which is a number that I've already forgotten, but it's really high. Is it 125 or 135? 135, which would make him the most expensive Premier League player um, of all time. Of all time. Does Which, anybody think he's worth? If out? I'm a see right, if I'm a hater, right? Do not don't I go? He's off the back of one good World Cup, and all of a sudden we're paying. All, you know, is that kind of maybe a little bit fair though? Is there some degree of truth to that? Um, I think he's overrated. Frankly, well, I know he was really good in the fucking World Cup. I think his ceiling is, but I don't even think who above you. I was listening, and I Bovey has the hottest takes, but I think he was saying he only has like a hundred or less than a hundred professional caps or top flight caps like i don't think he's worth it that's a lot of money for a player even that, that's a lot of money for a player even that's producing like yeah like half like half is producing. jude bellingham worth 135 yeah, like, yeah. i mean uh, but, okay but but connor you've mentioned maybe the one person on the planet the that's worth that money maybe or the one holland but holland didn't even go Mbappe for that. would go for that much yeah, theoretically but, like, but but he's worth it. I'm, I'm not going to say he's not worth that money, but I think Chelsea are playing an unprecedented am amount of money for him. I don't want to tag him to that because I think he's, I personally think he's worth that. Like he's an amazing young midfielder, but I don't think Chelsea should be paying 135 for him. Also, like, what That's is, stupid. how does Bowley negotiate? Like, he heard. Where does he play? It's drunk Benfica. and Benfica. he heard Benfica say we're not accepting anything less than 135 mil, and Bully's just like, like, "We'll pay the 135 mil." You think that scares mil. me? <laughs> I'm American. I'll pay double, but like <laughs> for no negotiate, reason. they'll take a hundred mil. Like you, you know how much that'll be for that club? Like come on, I think it. They'll negotiate. No, I don't think he's worth it. Like yeah, his ceiling's high, but like what, where's look at the best midfielders in the world right now? Like look at Modric, Modric from ten years ago. Was he worth 135 million? Would you say he would be? Yes. I mean, Jack Rios broke the no, market no, value. But. No. No, yeah. I, I just think that, like, like you, you make a good point. The numbers are just too high now. The numbers are, we are the now numbers paying are too, much for, too much for a youngster who just hasn't done anything besides. Yes, he had a really good World Cup and he has really good performances for Benfica, but it's like he's just stupid. Anything can happen. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just stupid because it's, it's stupid like money. Like, well, I mean, I Neymar know. was like 80 million from Santos. That's a Brazilian league. Like, Neymar also is a goal scoring. Produ producing he's a protege bro. Oh, 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 right, no but, one okay but it's a from a lot San of people San never Benfica. heard of enzo fernandez before the world cup i i a think a lot of people at that time in 20 when he when he transferred 2013 mm. the amount of money they paid for a left winger from brazil is unprecedented and you could say the same thing and the it goals are out. more expensive than a solid look i there's nothing i love more than a good cdm performance because that's how you control the midfield and win matches but we all know that goals are just so much more valuable. You, you, you can pay a yeah. hundred mil for Mbappe or Neymar because they're going to score a shitload of goals. But can, you, can can't. you justify going? We just paid one hundred thirty mil to control the midfield, like in a, in a game. Maybe right. One Maybe. player. Yeah, yeah. Do well, I, yeah, I bet you United don't. wish they did that, and they finally splashed the cash for one, and now they're doing good. Well, like you spent like sixty five mil, which makes sense. Also, the state of Chelsea right now, like, who's to say he's a, a young player is going to go in there and pan out? It's a risk. No Huge young risk. player goes to Chelsea and pans yeah, out. Yeah, I, I, that, that's that's back to Jalen's point that like Chelsea are paying an absurd amount of money considering the positions that they're in and how much they've spent and like that's where the stu the stupidity comes from the amount of money spent. I guess I think it's tainting the skill that he has because everyone's focused on how ridiculous the amount of money they're paying for him. Yeah, I think it's a lot of pressure to put on him. Like it's so much pressure to put on a player like that. As a six, can he ever put in a hundred and thirty five million dollar no. performance? That's where we like rank players. Like the only Well, how do you know? If he, he's he there for all five World seasons, Cup. bro. If he's there for five seasons His and World all Cup of those seasons are good. Bowling, though. I, and because to of be him. honest, Argentina was not that fucking dominant in the midfield think, during the World Cup. I they think, were not like this sell out balls to the walls control the entire tempo of the game they were but they were stood vulnerable out, but he stood out in that midfield you can say stood McAllister out. stood out in that midfield and so did Enzo like what do you mean yes but 135 million dollars I, I think but you're not listening six. but you're not listening for him saying that doesn't diminish his skill just because Chelsea decides to spend 135 on him no it doesn't diminish his skill but like you have to the measure his skill yeah. level to the price that they're paying I, I don't know what to tell you. That's modern football. For I think you. I think the only is player Jack Grealish worth a hundred million. He doesn't even have the goals and assists to back him up. I mean, uh, 
It's what is no, like, he what do you say about that? But Enzo's not going to have him either. <laughs> so he's he's in midfield. I think, so. I think the only player that is ever this is not biased, but the only player that ever was worth the money that was coming crazy bias was Cristiano <laughs> Ronaldo to from Real Madrid. Ver, Virgil How Van Dyke was for? worth the money we sp- paid for him. They spent they broke the record. It was like a hundred million, all right? Look, it's, it's before, before you two yeah. kick off, both of those answers are correct. No, yeah, both yeah. of those yeah, both yeah. of those are Ronaldo's a little bit, you know, Champions League, you know, multiple league winner and uh, <coughs> I tried. Virgil won a champion. <laughs> I tried. Virgil won every trophy in England. I gave it my honest effort, but in the no, end, but I think like enough. before you start, <laughs> like yeah. when you talk about the money to goal, like like that to me is like the perfection of a transfer. Is like you paid a hundred million, you get fucking twenty plus goals every season. You pay the amount of course see, of ten years. I I see Enzo's for I see his skill level. I also yeah. see Luis Diaz's skill level coming out of the Portuguese league. I see. Matias Nunez's Bruno, skill level Bruno as Fernandez. a deep midfielder coming out of the Portuguese yeah. lead. No, it's tr- yeah, like, we we just we pay too much now. Teams pay too much. You're going to pay a price for, for a product, greedy, right? Man, Chelsea if, is just greedy. And, and cuckoo. <laughs> fucking, I agree. Oh my god. I agree. The list goes on and on. But if you pay, if you're going to pay, okay, 120 mil for a CDM, you better get the best goddamn CDM. So all we need to worry about in this situation, whether or not it's worth it, is do Chelsea then get a good CDM performance just about every game? Because that's what it would take for that value to be worth it. It's what it would take for Maguire's money to be worth it. Yeah. But looking back, it's like we Maguire seems like it's like only 80 mil. That's not even that much. But at the time, it was like a crazy. No, I think it's a. I mean, fee, not, looking but, back on it, it's like. Uh, and sometimes I feel like we it, there's an like the English tax. We talk about the English player tax, but sometimes I feel like it flips to where a, now like a young player coming out of like the Portuguese league or the Brazilian league, if there's someone that's doing really well, those guys go for primo yeah. buku bucks. It's just that what's so aggravating. <laughs> about it is like <laughs> a lot of money i heard someone say that some somewhere one time and now i just say it i've heard that before. what's so aggravating is like i don't think the market is necessarily broken because players come in at decent weight prices decent transfers but it's just like chelsea are being so greedy where if they just wait until the summer they would pay 65 70 mil a very reasonable wage but they need him so desperately that they're just willing to throw any money at the problem they could have thrown probably 135 mil at dortmund and dortmund would consider yeah. releasing jude like and they have chelsea have cdms too and maybe not in the fountain of youth but like Jorginho's there kovacic is still there. like they have plenty of Conte's guys there they can't live there. through they the end of the season still, with, like, what are they going to do cheek? with him they have losses. what the fuck are they going to do with this guy let him rot i, I really i really rolls. hope with how much he's buying he learns how to sell um, yeah. Not to like drag this out too long, but to give background on the the situation itself, um, according to Fabrizio Romano, the player has stated to head coach Roger Schmidt that he would like to leave, and um, mm-hmm. the deal could be finalized over the next twenty four to forty eight hours. On top of that, there's a kind of a transfer battle between another player for Chelsea, the transfer battle between Chelsea and Arsenal for Mikolo Mudrik, who is Mudrik. playing plays for Shakhtar Donetsk in the Ukrainian league, and the whole idea behind Chelsea's involvement is that if Arsenal fail to meet the demands yeah. that the club is asking for, they'll swoop in. Oh, they'll bring his wall to the Yeah, level. so it's just going to poach him. Then Mudrik seems to pretty much be in an Arsenal kit already. He watches yeah. every Arsenal game, puts on his Instagram that he's watching the Arsenal game. He <laughs> says, go Arsenal. I love you, Arsenal. Tweets about them all the time. There's nothing wrong with this, but... Still, I mean, for for I'd be after annoyed all if that, I was his teammate, but a little bit yeah. annoying. Maybe a little bit annoying. I guess that's happy for him, but annoyed. yeah. After all of that, it. to not get this done, it's gonna. It would look. I think Arsenal's gonna get this done. I don't. I don't think Chelsea will actually complete this. They just like to again attach their names to these things to think. Oh, well, they couldn't afford you, but you know what? <laughs> we can. Yeah, I mean, it's half call. It's half price of Enzo. So. Plus, Mudrik would not. It doesn't even start. It won't start for Arsenal. There's nowhere in that midfield. I think he fits in right now, unless they they oh, really jeopardize the their. Wing. On maybe wing, maybe on the wing, but like they would, like, they would have to. Martinelli, yeah. Martinelli and Saka have been there. Maybe they're two best players this season. They so would have to move Martinelli up. They would have to yeah. if they wanted to start him. But again, but, I I agree that Martinelli should start obviously right now. It, maybe they're they're paying for backups. Maybe that's what a lot of teams are doing this January. Is I mean, paying for and he's young. I mean, the whole team is freaking young, but like he's just a young depth. Player. They want they need depth. This is yeah, a time where Arsenal need depth because they're in a title um, winning. Con- place and they're contending for the league so they need depth i mean it's crazy for depth you have to pay 60 mil i don't i mean he's gonna be a fiend what i think will be a phenom like you talk about talent he's got the upside too you rate him Oh yeah, we were just watching Udrick? highlight. We watched his highlights. It was insane. He's fucking unreal. Yeah. When I got here, he Crazy. put on Emerson highlights, so I didn't find that very funny. <laughs> but he, he, he is got, he isn't unreal. Those were, those were good. He by has the way. unreal pace. Crazy yeah. pace. Unreal pace. 
His, the, his the, touch the ball just, is yeah. like on him like a string. It's just he hard just, to tell because Arsenal fans, and I respect when you want a player, but they blow so much smoke up players at. Like as soon as a player gets linked, they're like, oh, that's that fucking world beater from <laughs> yeah. Ukraine. From Benfica. Or not, uh, yeah, yeah. Some, from the, some from like the Ukraine. Club yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's all right. Um, so we'll see. Already talked about Pedro Poro and just fucking makes me depressed. So we'll move on. Bajashil was that what I already yeah. forgot we looked up the pronunciation of yeah, name, but yeah. I think uh, Benoit Bajashil yeah so on top of Enzo Chelsea have signed three players one of which is Benoit Bajashil uh, he's and center then, center back which let yeah. me just be flat with everyone I had no idea who that was before I walked into this door tonight I didn't it's hard to keep track of all the signings they make yeah, it, doesn't mean it won't of, yeah. be a good one but that's just like to me like oh Chelsea's signing players I haven't even heard of <laughs> he's a Monaco center back that has a really good friend I knew the player because he's been he he was in their qualifier for Francis when everyone was fucking injured like, uh, like yeah, right. he was he was called up to oh, the squad so he yeah. was with them so I knew the name but I didn't know that he was on Chelsea's radar at all it's so and it's just like a, it's so just random. They act defenders. like they play with like thirty guys on the field. Like you get three CDMs, <laughs> then you get like four like, of each position. Like does this mean he's going he's gonna like clean like, house? You like I hope you right? Hope I hope <laughs> yeah. I hope that if if they're gonna bring in this many guys, there needs to be some huge amount of turnover. But there's literally no way to Where do the, the hell amount of, are Chelsea gonna put a center back? They just bought Cool Bali and Fafana. Mm. Yeah, and probably. Fafana hasn't sniffed the pitch. I mean, he's hurt, right? He's hurt. He hurt his knee. Yeah. But so keep going. Let's like, yeah, there's they, all they signed Andre Santos, an 18 year old Brazilian. I don't even know what position he plays. He's going to be a he's, Chelsea he's, Loney. He's a, he's a center midfielder that plays for coming Vasco. to a championship team near Vasco. you soon. <laughs> plays for Vasco da Gama. Okay. And then we have Fafana. Fafana what was his name? David, David Fafana. No, David Fafana. Striker from, I don't know how to say this club. Mold. Name. It's, Mold. I, it's Mold. on paper. Mold. It's Mold. Oh, but it's Mold. oh it's, that's in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Molde? That's where Ole coached. Damn, we should know oh, this. Yeah, Holland, played for Holland, played for Holland played for Mold. Holland played for Mold. Yeah. So he's a striker, not not the Norwegian. I don't know. I guess they're saying, building for youth, but I'm the Norwegian. I, they Obamier? must be forgetting about the they, whole like you have, can't loan out a million players anymore. <laughs> yeah. So you I also don't know can't what have do. this many. Like, don't you need some English players? Yeah. Like the non-EU thing. Yeah. yeah. There's a certain amount of english home. that's a that's a big thing at also just side to uh, real madrid like getting like spanish spanish passports if you yeah. don't have a spanish passport we can't bring anyone well there's yeah. like i don't know if it's a there's a domestic player you can apply rule, you can but like, then there might also be a foreign player tax so if you exceed i don't know how it works this is all just me fucking but so yeah so chelsea rule. have made an absurd amount of signings and i think it could be for an overhaul it could not be but i think it's just todd bowley shelling money out and uh, Grandpa, they're probably the completely out of the